Please be seated. And I invite our baptismal family forward at this time. It is always a gift to me to be able to baptize a child for parents whom I marry. Beloved, baptism is an outward and a visible sign of an inward and a spiritual grace, through which grace we become partakers of his righteousness and heirs of life eternal. Those receiving the sacrament are thereby marked as Christian disciples and initiated into Christ's holy church. Our Lord has expressly given to little children a place amongst the kingdom of God, which holy privilege must not be denied them. Beloved, do you, in presenting your child for holy baptism, confess your faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? And do you therefore accept as your bounden duty to live before your child a life that becomes the gospel, to exercise all godly care, that she be brought up in the Christian faith, be taught the Holy Scriptures, and learn to give reverent attendance upon the private and public worship of God? Will you endeavor to keep your child under the ministry and guidance of the church until your child, by the power of God, shall accept for herself the gift of salvation? and be confirmed as a full and responsible member of Christ's holy church. Then we invite you forward at this time. this Look here and by what name shall this child be baptized eliza hope williams eliza hope i baptize you today in the name of god the father oh i know it's okay honey god the son god the holy spirit and i mark you this day before god and neighbor as a child of the living god Eliza Hope, it is my honor and privilege to introduce you to your church family. These are the people who are about to commit to you, just like your family has committed to you. These are the people who, as you travel the journey of life, should you stumble or should you fall, as happens to the best of us from time to time, we will be here to help get you on your feet again. And all that we ask is that if we stumble, or if we fall, as happens to the best of us, you might help us find our way again. So that as you grow in wisdom and years, we might grow right alongside you and become a little more perfect because of you. As your mother said, the world could use a little more hope. Thanks for giving it to us, Eliza. Siblings of the household and faith, I invite you to stand now in this moment. Anna and Chris, I'll ask that you pause just here for a moment. And turn and face the congregation. 
Brothers and sisters of the household of faith, we commend to your love and care Eliza, whom we this day recognize as a member of the family of God. Will you endeavor so to live that she may grow in the knowledge and love of God the Father through our Savior, Jesus Christ? With God's help, we will so order our lives after the example of Christ that this child, surrounded by steadfast love, may be established in the faith and confirm and strengthen in the way that leads to life eternal. Let us pray. O oh God, grant that Eliza, as she grows in years, may also grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So guide and uphold Anna and Chris that by loving care, wise counsel, and holy example, they may each be led into that life of faith whose strength is righteousness and whose fruit is everlasting joy and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.